Hello everyone, and welcome to another Diorama Days. And I think we just interrupted a deal going on here. Um, yep, yeah, Quail's definitely getting some droid parts just to have around. It's always good to have some droid parts laying around. Um, but yes, I threw together a little uh, Quail house, I guess. A little Ugnot Chateau, if you do prefer. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm ruining the illusion for you. I'm sorry. There's a there's a reading nook back there, for giants, right? Having some fun here. Some Jawas are peeking in. He doesn't. He only lets one into his house at a time because he doesn't want to lose any of his uh, little bits and bobs over here. Some droid, droid domes, Cantono. He's got an extra egg for a future deal. See, he didn't tell Din Jaren this before he had to fight the Mudhorn, but Quill's actually got it down to a science to extracting Mudhorn eggs for his uh, Jawa dealings. He thought it would be fun just to watch Mando struggle. <clears throat> Which it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I got all sorts of little pieces in here. I've got the got the bar um, from the new Navarro Cantina set. I've got a stool as well. It's got tons of awesome accessories that I love. Yeah, I just love them. That's like the best part about the Cantina set, if you ask me. Got the spotchka down there. Some some cups. We've gotten like cups before with like the droid. Um, butler accessories, but, um, we haven't really gotten many things like this before, like, uh, use my finger. We've never really gotten, uh, stuff like that before, like little, little jugs and jars and bottles. It's pretty awesome. This is a little backpack. This is the Jawa Elder from the Razor Crest. I opened mine because I felt like it. On the outside, I've got some twine holding that up. Um, and a little twine trick. I'm sure if you watch some uh, crafting channels out there, you might see the little trick where if you take a take a little fire to the end of the uh, um, twine, it burns off all the little like extra fibers sticking off of it, so it kind of scales it better a little bit. Kind of looks more like a rope rather than small thin twine. And I've got some trusty uh, tweezers here. Use that to fine tune all the little placements down there, like the spot go the cups. Helped with that a lot. Um, I've got the Jabba's um, palace background here, flipped around. Um, I love the back side because it's got all this awesome detail and like these shelvings. I think I mentioned it in a recent video um, that it looks like it uh, should have been viewed from both sides because the regular side is very nice beat up stonework, which also carries around to the back, which can't be said much for the Navarro set. It's just this plain plastic bit. I'll probably do a review of that just to kind of have it in better, uh, better viewage. But, I mean, they at least painted the, uh, the door panel. <laughs> but, yeah, I do love the backside of the Jabba's Palace playset bits, because, uh, look at that, it's just like a perfect little shelving. Perfect little kind of cut-in shelving, and like that stuff, like that they wouldn't have painted that if they didn't have to. They wouldn't have sculpted that if they didn't have plans for it. But adds a lot of versatility to that playset. Um, I mean, if you haven't picked it up, you like taking pictures, like, that's... It's a great set. I've used it in so many setups that I've done, whether it be just, like, a little archway off to the side, or just the back of, like, a building right here is what I use that a lot for. And this is just some extra fabric I had from some Jedi robes that I made before. 
Yeah, there's a stool from the cantina. There's the Mithril's little welding gadget that he comes with. Armors, pieces here. And this, I got some random bits from a uh, order I got, a purchase I got online. It just came with this kind of like little zip line thing. And I figured he'd use that to move around some big clunky parts. Got the, uh, the windshield to a uh, raised speeder down there. Why not? And then to kind of mask the uh, um, edge of the paper here, I used some uh, these cords here. I love these things. Just they just look like Star Wars cables. Just all over the place. I kind of hid the ends under there. Where, where do they go? Who knows? We don't know all that information in Star Wars. We just ooh and ah. We don't need to know how hyperspace works or anything. It just does. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely had a lot of fun with this. Just putting it together for a little quill review, but I figured do a diorama day as well and add it. Why not? Do some glam shots in a little bit. Get those up on my Instagram eventually. Usually post them before I post a diorama days. Um, or before a review. Just kind of give a heads up to people. Followers, subscribers, whatever you are. But yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. You got any of these play sets? Because I get a lot of mileage out of these things. I always try and get them on a get them at a good deal, but I do use them a lot. But I can see the value not quite being there if somebody's just putting it on a shelf or something. But I use them to create these worlds. This will be, I'll take a shot like this when I'm done doing this. That'd be a fun shot. Over the jaw or shoulder. Be nice. <clears throat> Yes, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Same name over there, JohnRunner88. And let's uh, get on out of here so they can finish this little egg exchange going on. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.